Today's adventure, take me onto the Florida back roads as the recording of this Monday, February 19, 2024. I felt like just going off, well, out of the populated areas. I'll go into some towns that have a few people in them, but no, no metropolises or big bustling tourism today. Just Florida back roads, real Florida goodness, and cows. There's cows out there, and some bulls. Welcome everyone, out of the woo here. I just felt like, he just felt like running, I just felt like running. I just felt like driving, I felt like getting in my car, cruising around. The closest place I am near is Rock Ridge, Rock Ridge. Like Harvey Corman, I think that was Blazing Saddles as a Rock Ridge. But I'm going to be heading over to some other areas that I have not ever documented and been through that I can recall. About an hour outside of Homestead and Celebration, starting about an hour, 45 minutes to an hour. The Just around the general area where I live, there's not really a whole heck of a lot of old Florida. you got to venture out and then back. So this is the starting point. Cows right there. Got my glass. Take my glasses off so I can see the cows. File this one under peaceful small town back roads. They're a little camera shy. These cows. I'm inviting you to join me. Unlike these cows, which are going the other way. Shall you? Definitely needed a day like this. Needed a day, just go out and do this kind of thing. I haven't done a lot of this lately. Also, I'm in Polk County. The garbage can stated it. I might venture out of Polk County. I live in Osceola County and Orlando's in Orange County. But then there's Polk County, so this is going to be a Polk County day, even though... I might pop into other counties too, but it'll probably all be Polk. Probably not a relation to James K. Or maybe it, maybe there is. Just to show where I am, I am in the Green Swamp near the East Tract, Rock Ridge. That's the where I'm at. And my plan is to venture over this way just a bit, and I kind of want to go around Dade City in that section, Blanton, Dade City, stuff in that area. Kind of in that general vicinity and to see what else i could find but i found a, a very unique little little church here right here off the road I like the sounds of all the birds and animals the green swamp little flock church Meets every Sunday at 11 a.m. This little house. There's Jesus with the the lamb there, shepherd of men and of sheep. They got their little area around the back, probably for their fellowship dinners and their get-togethers. That little shed. The one street light or the one lamp here for the parking lot. I love this. So peaceful. This canopy of trees through here. Very beautiful. A little tire swing over here to the side. Right there off the branch. Does it get much better than that? You can kind of see it. Yeah, tire swing right there. Now I did hop on a little busier road my way over to Dade City, but I found this. The gates are open. I'm not going to walk up in the yard. There's something very, very unusual over here a grotto of some sort 
What the heck is this? tell if it's a private residence or a business of some sort. It's kind of overgrown right here. Like some little survey markers, even some local workers out. Very windy out here too. Yeah, it's like a grotto of some sort. All right. Looks like it might have been an attraction at one point because over here is like a gazebo and around the back is like a dragon tail. I don't see any signs here saying stay off the property, but I'm not gonna go up in there. Check out this gazebo. It's kind of seen better days. And it looks like there's a dragon. Oh, there's a whole dragon back there. Very busy road next to me. There's a dragon head and the dragon tail. Something over there too. That was on the corner of Highway 35 and Old Dade City Road. There's a citrus center, one of these lost, well not lost, but kind of forgotten citrus, uh, citrus center monuments. There's another one of these in Davenport that I've shown before, but I've never gotten all the way over here. This is the corner of Pasco County and Polk County, so I'm getting ready to cross over into Pasco. I've never shown this one before. I think there's like three or four of these left. But I've never gotten far over here and never, never shown this one before, so that's pretty cool. The one over near Davenport, Intercession City, I should say, is misspelled. Say misspelled citrus. This one's spelled correctly. All right, Big the Foot, crossing over into Pasco now. Let's do it. In the hills of Pasco County, Dade City. It's like to be the old train station, now the Heritage Museum. tracks are but you got the old tracks right here still standing runs to the side of the train station I'm curious to see if this place is open go walk up to the front and see, see if there's anyone inside ah, maybe not it's all fenced off they do have a downtown area off of this busy thoroughfare Pasco County Courthouse I see a sign over there this must be the county seat Coast Atlantic Coast Line Depot built in 1912 to replace an earlier frame structure located a quarter mile north of here. This depot was the first site in Pasco County to be placed on the National Register of Historic Places. The uh, adjacent track is on the site, the first rail line to reach Dade City in 1887. It is brisk out, it feels really nice. Where's the entrance at? Located at 1426, 14206 Highway 98. The butterfly there, and they are not open. In fact, it's all fenced off. Dade City Heritage Museum, main entrance. 
looks like doing a little construction a construction update. But no go on the museum, but pretty neat to see this old depot. This kind of seems like it's the main road through town. Anderson Court reporting, old building right there. It's like a split road leading to downtown. Kind of like a strip mall almost, like these buildings. Got some classic architecture over there at that now Boost Mobile store. Not up on all my arch architect architecture, but I do like that style, that kind of retro style. See the water tower over there. There is a Bravo supermarket and a coin laundry. And what caught my attention was this thrift, thrift store called a Helping Rock thrift store. You always like these small town thrift stores, the non-corporate ones. Sometimes you find some really good deals. Coin Laundry open 24 hours. Check it out. They have video games. It says they have video games right there on the side. What if they, have, what if they actually do have video games in here? I just talked to the owner. He says he no longer has video games in there. He was asking what, a, what the heck I was doing. I just explained I'd like to check out small town. Said I saw the video game sign. He goes, no, I don't have video games anymore. There's a parade, presidential parade, presidential day parade happening downtown. And there is a county fair. So the county fair here starts today. He says the parade starts and then it ends at the fair. I'm not gonna go into the fair, but I'm gonna check out the thrift store over here, see what I can find. Good assortment of stuff in this thrift store. Big section of books right here. Got some appliances, shoes. There were some Blu-rays and DVDs on the way in. There's even some CDs over here. A little uh, cart, really good prices too. Five dollars for this, and this little like end table shelf here, only ten dollars. Quite a few. Ooh, maybe I should get this for for a ti the Titanic guy. Really a great selection. These are like too deep back in there, so it's like they're like double stacked. There's like a ton of VHS in here. Yeah, I ended up going ahead and grabbing this right here. You never, whenever you see Titanic, you gotta you gotta snag a copy. Maybe I'll mail it. Mail it over. You got Great Outdoors. You got Firewalker. I think that was a Canon film. Firewalker right there. A lot of really good VHS in here for those. I mean, I don't, I don't collect VHS anymore. I don't need to go back down that rabbit hole, but I know a lot of people do. Haunted Honeymoon right there. The Gene Wilder movie. I believe Gene Wilder was in that. Look at all these. There's a huge selection here. History of the World. Oh my gosh, Mac and Me on VHS. What the heck? A bird on a wire. We're just recently watching that. Bird on a wire right there. Ever after Drew Barrymore. Yeah, I had to get I went ahead and got the Mac and me. I figured just to have that, because I love that film. A lot of a lot of great vinyl too. Through here, a lot of records. Pretty good selection of uh of of uh, media, what do they call physical media? That's the word I'm looking for. And a lot of double, lot of Bravehearts right there. Speaking of Bird on a Wire and Mel Gibson, a lot of Braveheart, the double, oh look, even the double Mad, 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 Mad World. Oh, this got the Suzanne Summers breakthrough book. Right there, of course, Suzanne passed away very, very recently. Al Michaels. Yeah, I remember him, but I think he probably still announces, still announces, but down here, this is like an appropriate book because as I'm recording this, it is, President's Day, an American Heritage Book of Presidents and other famous Americans. All right, I got my two items. Some pretty good deals in here. Everything's really inexpensive. It's a nice pot. A molecular hair setter. I only spent two dollars. I ended up getting the Xbox 360 Disneyland game. I don't have an Xbox 360. I went ahead and got that. I got the Curse of the Blair Witch VHS, Mac and Me, and the Titanic. So four VHSs were a buck, and then the video game was a dollar. Two dollars plus tax for this bag of stuff. Gotta love small town thrift shopping. St. John's Missionary Baptist Church. Pretty cool looking building. Running parallel to the little main street because they have it road blocked off for the little small town presidential parade today. Going on a little 
parallel to Main Street or to their main drag. A little coffee here at Circle K. Opted for the hazelnut blend. Accomplished. Over here on the corner of 21st Street and Coleman, free estimates, best deal in town. Got a muffler man right here with the wrench in intact. I think I passed by this a few years ago. This, this, like all the muffler men after a while kind of start to run together, but yeah, there's a muffler man here. Not all the muffler mans are carrying mufflers. This one, in fact, has a wrench right next to the, this is the name of this place is the Big Mechanic Complete Automotive and Muffler Place. The reason they're called muffler mans is because of the way the hands are holding it back in the day they would be holding mufflers, but sometimes you'll see them, you know, this one has a wrench, sometimes they'll have an ax, sometimes it will be holding a rocket if you're on Route 66 and things like that, but there's an active muffler man here, just on the outskirts of Dade City. Pretty cool, I always like to see these roadside giants, if you call them. That's right next to where I got coffee. In fact, they have the logo. He doesn't have a beard in the logo though, but he's holding a wrench there. All right, moving on. See if I can find some smaller towns. I want to say I classify this as a, it's a small town, but it's not a tiny town. And it's technically a city, even though it's like 8,000 people. So a city doesn't necessarily mean it's a huge place. Yeah, the citrus trees are definitely out of season right now with this being winter. Over near Zephyr Hills now. It's a little bit of a backup on that that light. It took me a while to cross over the street. This frog is promoting some recycling, as is this dog. Also wants you to recycle. I'm at a produce stop. Thought you know I could probably get some stuff for the air fryer. I've been on a zucchini and squash kick in the air fryer lately. This place is called Shannon's Farm Fresh Produce. Also grateful that it's not raining today. The last two days it's been downpouring, so it's nice it's not raining today. Oh yeah, I can actually see. I don't know if it's a, well, it's definitely a squash up there. Could be a pickle, but it could also be a zucchini. Got some plants, fruits, veggies, honeydew, Melons, cantaloupes, ruby red grapefruits, potatoes. Ooh, maybe I'll get some potatoes. Ooh, look at these little ones. Yeah, you know, $3.99 for a five pound bag. Celery, some eggplants, green onions, Ooh, Brussels sprouts. Peas, cabbage. Organic rainbow carrots. Ooh, look at these. Pickled red beet eggs. Jake and Amos. I'm gonna grab a cart. Candied jalapenos. Ooh, how those are. Dill Brussels sprouts. That's different. I do love pickled okra. I do have some salad stuff at my house, but I don't have any dressing. So maybe I get some of this Vidalia onion and cucumber dill dressing. I got some spinach and some iceberg lettuce. Those are some good looking tomatoes right there. Beef steak tomatoes. $1.99. Tomato basket for $4.99. All right, now we're getting into the stuff I really like for the air fryer. Broccoli. I really like taking the zucchinis. 
and the squash, slice them up, throw a little oil on them and a little flavoring, throw them in the air fryer for a while. So I'm gonna get a couple pounds of these and a couple pounds of those. Well, I realize now they got okra over here for $3.49 a pound, so I'm gonna get a little bit of okra. And I think I'm gonna try some of the Brussels sprouts too, put those in the, the same, the oil and the, and the flavoring, shake it all up, put it in the air fryer. My air fryer kick lately. All right, zucchinis, potatoes, squash, okra, and Brussels sprouts. Nice. Got all those products, and I also got a beef stick, and a little, little was that a bear? A little piece of, a little treat, a little candy, honey, well, what's the like candy? It's honey. It's a honey on a stick. So I got that too, and I got some stuff for dinner tonight for the air fryer. A few miles down the way is the very tiny community of Crystal Springs saying that with a question because I'm pretty sure that's what the sign said. This little gas station here. No trees pins keep out. No trees pins. No trees pass. No trees pass. This tree right here shall not pass. No trees pass. This is the community hall over here. Oh, and there's the fire station over there in the distance. On every second Tuesday, the Crystal Springs Community Association meets. They have one of these little libraries. These give a book, take a book, the little free library. Take a book, share a story. Take a book, share a book. Every second Tuesday. I have to wonder, do you think they really meet every second Tuesday or is that just like an old sign? There are a few residents here in this little area. There's the backside there, that gas station. Former convenience store. A lot of trucks going through here. Voting station, Precinct 16, Crystal Springs Community Hall here on Partridge Boulevard. Crystal Springs, Crystal Springs, Florida, a little food pantry. For people that need some food, drop some off. This is a water, it was a water filling station. Oh, it still is. Look at this. Yeah, it works. Do not leave trash. Turn water off when not filling containers. Remember to deposit coins. Where do you deposit the coins? Oh, right there. Y'all know. This is an honor system. Y'all know. Help us keep our water privilege. We use the honor system. You're supposed to pay right here. Oh, there's a little slot right there. Look at that. It's pretty cool, right? You got the trash over here. You got the reserve for water customers only. And you got the little coin system. That's cool. You got like your water and everything. This train's not moving, but because I'm moving, it's kind of hard to tell if it's not, but it's sitting still. I'm pulling through the area of Midway, Florida. There's a First Baptist Church here. Known as an unincorporated area. This is the Church of Midway. A little road work up top here. Got a little workers on the road. Slow down. Whatever this was, it's no longer active. See all the foliage growing up the side.
Might be hard to make out on camera there. Sergeant Farms. Can't go on this property. But check out the bell tower. Well, bell, not a tower, but a bell, you know, an elevated bell. Engulfed in vines. And being watched and being watched. That's a good guard dog. trash can and this closed gate is obscuring anyone from getting on the property and all the signage obviously. Entire property. Sergeant Farms. All the old silos back there. I gotta say, this uh, guard dog should be commended, doing its job to the fullest extent. Back on I-4 now. Kind of an extreme backup, nearing Highway 27. Gotta love it. Made it back into celebration. That was a, it was a pretty good 30 to 45 minute delay back up there. I-4 east and westbound, certain areas are starting to Starting to notice it getting a little more congested. Made it home, just showcasing the few things I got today. My haul, my food haul, the dressing, VHS's, video game. I do not have a Xbox 360, but if I ever get one, it'd be kind of neat to play this. Titanic. Some collectible stuff. Haven't seen this in a while. I don't have a VHS player, but I've been. I haven't seen the uh, the copy of this. I should say. I have this on Blu-ray, but this is most likely definitely worth more than the 25 cents I paid for it. Four, because there's two in here, so two, three, four for a buck. Can't beat that. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is. Over.